Hello, party people of the ah, world. Ah. <laughs> really? That's how we're going to start? <laughs> I mean, I guess it's an appropriate way to start fucking tech death metal. Maybe on the next pick, we can just both be screaming at the same time just because. Uh, we're doing technical death metal today. This is the first cut with Danny and Evan. Um, and since we've already fucked up the intro, let's just go ahead and get started. Um, the band is, uh, I don't know, you fucking figure it out. Uh, no, the band is, <laughs> the band is called Vervum, album Illuminance. Can you tell we just don't give a shit anymore? Yeah, I don't you? give a fuck about anything anymore. Let's not even do this list. Goodbye! Bye. No, uh, Vervum, uh, they're from Zurich, which is fucking sick. The album is Illuminance. Oh, yeah, Illuminance. And this first song is The Cypher Supreme. I love technical death metal. I've said it. There, I'll say it. Yeah. I love technical death metal. I do too. Yeah. Shut up. Too. No one fucking asked. I you. definitely don't remember the last time I listened to some tech death though. Yeah. Been a, well, and it's a funny too because it, it's funny. Like of all of the lists we have in the pipeline, of all of the lists we have done, I think like some people might think that I've got a little bit of a chub for the death in greater fields. Because the very first list I ever did before Evan even became a part of the show was melodic death metal. And then there was death in general, where we just talked about just death metal, death core. Um, and then, you know, we've got tech death, we've got atmospheric black metal, we've got black and death metal, uh, doom metal, fucking sludge metal, all sorts of different metals. Um, all different heavy metals. Uh, mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, earth metals. And, you know, anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Iridium and, like, yeah, uh, yeah. palladium and shit like that. And uh, uranium. Uranium. And myanium. Myanium. <laughs> but uh, I just, I love technical death metal. And granted, like, yeah, I'm definitely going to do a lot of those fucking lists. Uh, and, and definitely separate and specify which is wish. Wish is wish. And progressive metal, for that matter. Which, granted, I think technical death metal often gets paired into the same greater field as progressive metal. Although I would specify it is certainly not progressive metal, at least not, like, innately. Um, to me, de technical death metal is kind of like the math rock of death metal. Certainly. Yeah, it's just yeah. very, yeah, based on, like, uh, mathematical, um, you know, interest. Like, it goes all over the place. It has very interesting key changes and rhythms. And, like, I mean, you can hear now that, like, gradual slowing and everything. It's just got a lot of interesting <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, so it's not an instrumental song. No. <laughs> well, yeah, it's certainly not an instrumental band, for that matter. Um, I don't... I don't know if any of our picks are instrumental. I hope not. That's I don't cool think with so, me. But yeah. maybe. Yeah, 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 I know you're not about that. Um, Except for jazz. I mean, jazz is a great yeah, way to instrumental. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I know. I make good Dude. fucking lists, bro. I like, too, that their picture, it looks like they're all standing on, like, a mountain in Switzerland somewhere. It's pretty cool. I mean, I guess I don't yeah. know that it's in Switzerland. I mean, it might, it might be. It I might think, be in Montana. It might be in Montana. Probably, in probably snowing can pretty I, good over wait, there. Hang on. Right now, can, so. I, can I click on this and it's not going to fuck me up? Yeah. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, that's definitely not a mountain. No, so. it looks like it's like a frozen lake. <laughs> yeah. Look how okay. cold this guy is. <laughs> he's so freezing. He's so cold. subjected cold. him to that shit and he's like, I don't want to do What this. the fuck is this? What the this fuck? looks like one of those fucking like gates from like Japan. Yeah. Or maybe it's like a... Um, power line maybe, i don't know maybe a power line yeah maybe um maybe like uh um, like an oblivion gate or something yeah so i will say like with for me with whenever i make these lists i do try to keep the the support of the artists like fairly low to maximize the likelihood that our our listeners have never heard it to maximize the exposure for the artists that was a little harder to do with technical death metal. Certainly, it's not impossible, but, like, um, I found, like, the more, like, oh, yeah, this band has, like, four supporters. It's like, yeah, they also kind of suck, so it yeah. makes sense. Um, so, you know, these ones, they had, they had a bit of support, but not, like, oh, man, yeah, everyone in the world is listening to this band. And that's my big thing is, like, I listen to a lot of technical death metal, like, leisurely. 
there's a lot of bands I could have picked that I've heard like since we were making this show. But the problem is, is that they have a ton of fucking support. So like my first instinct would have been like, oh, we'll listen to like Inferi. I love Inferi. They sound fucking incredible. They've been a great pick. But I think most people in the greater community are probably familiar with Inferi. So what's the point? So I'm giving them a little nod because I really enjoy the music. But yeah. Yeah. So. It's yeah, chunky. I, I like it. Who are you calling chunky? <laughs> you fucking sweaty asshole. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of the good old days. Of? Of, um, of just, of just us, just kicking it to fucking death metal. Yeah. Technical bullshit, you know? Um, I was thinking a lot about how you and I used to make fucking thrash metal. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I was talking to the gal the other night about how like my uh, my old singing voice used to sound and everything, and how it was all crusty and fucking deep. I, and I thought it's pronounced. Like I thought it's pronounced Fiegel. What? Fiegel? <laughs> what are you talking about? You said I was. I was talking to the gal. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Jesus, pissy! I've been saying it wrong this whole time. I'm so All right, embarrassed. That's it. The show's over. The show's it's over. Forever. The studio lights are coming down. Yeah. Why do we have lights? Because, you know, this isn't like on camera right now. We do need um, to see. That is part of, part of making it. Oh, show. you need to see. I echolocate. Um, You're just like. I have every time I, that's how I know Evan's here is I'll I'll hear like uh before he gets to the door I just hear like <laughs> Well no what do you like, think oh, the, there it is what do you think the intro was? Yeah, <laughs> the yeah, little yeah. scream. I'm just wait, Are we wait. gonna do that by the way at the fucking uh the beginning of the next one? Are we just gonna fucking like scream? Is that gonna be a thing? Um I'm not gonna rule it out. Alright. Definitely. We'll leave it a surprise and we'll just like <laughs> look at each other and wink. <laughs> yes. Ooh. Yeah, dude. Let's call him outro. Cool. Really, really appreciate it if you'd stop calling me weird adjectives. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm supposed to be a call him outro. Yeah. yeah, it definitely reminds me of, uh, like, the contortionist. Oh, I love the degree. contortionist. I mean, granted, I don't think, yeah, I don't think I would consider their earlier works to be like technical death metal but i mean i would consider it progressive metal it's definitely yeah the relative like technical vein um their stuff now is their stuff now is way different but but uh yeah i don't know hard to hard to say where i would really really put them i really hate the usage i've heard the term like space metal used a lot and that fucking drives me nuts Oh like, well, yeah, they, they talk about outer space a lot, and like their music feels like it'd be like something from like shut the fuck. Up. <laughs> no, shut like, up. Well, that was like the big thing when you would hear bands like Attack Attack. I remember a lot of people referred to them as crabcore for a while. I'm like that's so <laughs> fucking stupid. It's like why? Because they get low, man. Look how they play their instruments. They look like fucking crabs. It's like that it is not a definition of music. <laughs> God, the only, so fucking the stupid. only like I think um, like artist or no band that I, I would feel comfortable calling like space metal, and for like the truest of reasons that like I, I feel like their music almost comes from outer space. Like as far as a metal band goes, would be uh, would be Sun. Like I feel like I feel like Sun, especially like the first few albums. Now you're gonna say Guar for a second. No, because so we they, even that is like it's like a it's so facetious. It's like so it's like very theatrical, and that's great because that's what they do. But uh, but like Sun, like if you listen to like Black One by Sun or like any of their like Sun, yeah, any of their earlier stuff, like it, it genuinely sounds like Aliens. Like got a hold of like um, some kind of like black metal records or something, and they're like, this is cool. Is it? Here's our interpretation of it. Wait. I'm trying to remember. Is Sun is Sun coming to Seattle very soon, or did they just come? Here? I'm not really sure. I, I mean, they're from do. Seattle. But there is the. Are they really? Yeah. I didn't know that. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say there was there was another band that I feel like I was like mixing up with them for a second. And I was like, they are coming to Seattle very soon, and I would really like to go. But I'm having a massive brain fart, and I can't think of what that band is off the top of my head. Mm. 
Yeah. Oh, this is fucking annoying. Uh, hand me my phone, would you? I want to look them up. I want to figure out what band it is. Cause it's if you ever wonder what kind of phone he has, by the way, it's a Samsung Galaxy A. S8, S8? S8 Plus, yeah. S8. It's S8 old. Plus. It's a big ass phone. Somewhat old, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, it's big, even for me, and I'm a fucking giant. Look how big my thumb is in comparison, really, and I still have to, like, so, to reach a lot of shit. That's the sound I make often when I'm on my phone. I'm like, Because the joke there is supposed to be that you're going to see a reflection of yourself. I don't fucking know. I'm not memeing right now. I'm trying, I'm trying to do God's work here and look up that fucking band I was thinking of. Why do I not have interwebs? Oh, what is the fucking name of this band? It's a uh, Virvum. Shut up. Well, I know they're coming to Numos in Seattle, and I know they're coming somewhat soon. Give me that Numos calendar. I think they're coming in April. Also, Swans is coming to Seattle. Yeah. Were you planning on going to that? Hell yeah. Uh, Between the Buried and Me is coming fairly soon, and they're doing like, I guess they're doing like a big like, like um, farewell tour. Well, it's a yeah, it's their 20th anniversary tour, so oh, they're trying yeah. to actually make it like really big. I'll show you the the, the the poster for that later. But keep the people busy while I'm looking this thing up. Yes. Keep them busy. Keep them entertained. <laughs> Uh, keep yourself busy. Um, check your pockets to see if there's anything Speaking interesting. Speaking of, in there. please take your hand out of your pants. <laughs> I can't believe I have to keep telling you that. Ooh, that kind of tempts me, actually. Yeah, great. <laughs> I make it. I say it as a joke, and then you're like, oh, "Well, now I'm gonna." <laughs> you never know what you might find. Well, we might have a guest showing up at some point, so maybe not a great idea. You <laughs> caught literally with your dick in your hand. Oh, legal. What? Is the eagle coming? Death Heaven! Death, Death Heaven! Heaven. Yeah. yeah, Death Heaven is coming. Fuck, that was driving yeah, me oh, nuts. Yeah. Death Heaven is badass. Yeah. Fuck yeah, they're badass. What were you saying? Uh, oh, nothing of particular interest. Okay. Yeah. Death Heaven, yeah. Death Heaven. That is, when is that? May? Yeah, May... 2nd? I'd really like to go to that. You should also go. No, it's May 1st. May Day. Sit. I like that, Evan. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Yeah, so I you, like... you brought up Sun, and it made me think of Death Evan. Which yeah. is not to say they sound alike. But... Well, I mean, yeah, they don't like sound alike, but I could see those bands like yeah. touring with each other. I mean, they're, they're that kind of degree of like, yeah. of like just different metal. They're like different metal, is yeah. what I would really yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Alternative metal. Yeah. Which yeah, alternative in like the, the true sense of the yeah. word, like so not okay. like alt, not like not like oh this is sounds like uh, Muse or something, but no, it's like it's like uh, no, it's like alternative as in like hey that's great. There's like traditional metal. I used to really like stuff. Muse, and I'm really glad I grew up out of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, no offense if that's what you're into, but like full offense if that's what you're into. <laughs> I just, I, I just don't care for I mean, it. Yeah, I mean, they had a lot of really like great songs and great albums. I mean, I but see, um, that's the thing. Nice like, Sedonia, obviously. Even, I mean, even when I listen back and I listen to songs that I used to really love, I just they don't fucking do anything for me anymore. No, like, no, I used to I, love I, like I Hysteria, like, Nice of Sidonia, yeah. with the one exception maybe of like uh, the one exception probably being like Assassin, Assassin. Yeah, I think that was the name of the song. And it's like, -na 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 -na. yeah, that fucking that song still gets me, but that's more of like the chorus, I think, the lyrics and the vocals of the chorus. But other than that, man, I just don't give a uh, fuck about music anymore. Yeah, I don't remember the um, God, they had that song a few years back. Uh, um, I, I, I might as well just give this up because yeah, I can't I even remember what the title is. It was like a, their their hit single off of one of their past couple albums. And it, yeah, it was it's very much like trying past to go. five at this point and make this music yeah. so fucking awesome. Yeah, and I get, like, I like what Muse kind of like was from the beginning. Wow. <laughs> um, from, the, you know, from the beginning, they were kind of like, I feel like they were like, 
Radiohead, but froggier. And that, that's cool. But, like, uh, you know, there was already, I think, like, then you had, like, I feel like Radiohead was, like, this, like, but here's the, the thing. growth that a bunch when, of other bands decided when I to think branch of, out. When of. I think of Radiohead, but froggier, like, back in that time, I think of the Pineapple Thief. And yeah, I think yeah, the Pineapple yeah. Thief is way Pineapple fucking Thief better. Or are way better in my opinion yeah dude. um and yeah way more underground so they have yeah. a lot of like they can keep a lot of their like artistic integrity yep um and uh yeah so yeah pineapple i just saw thief. the pineapple thief you didn't yeah you should have it was it's a true. really cool show <laughs> yeah i don't know if i can just handle being at like shows anymore i'm just like i don't know i, I feel like i'm showed out but that's the thing, degree. man. Like, when you go to a prog rock show, it's different. Because everyone there is fucking, like, 50 years old. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's not like somebody's going to be like, hey, you want to watch or what? You want to, like, fucking, good. you want to, like, get in the really pit good. or what? I'm not fucking giving you a massage. <laughs> I was punching on his leg for anyone listening. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, and he got a fucking That's a service I would pay on. for. <laughs> but, but that's what I mean, like... When you go to a prog show, you know what to expect. It's not it's not a bunch of people trying to get like fucking get down, you know what I mean? Well, well yeah, a prog a rock of, show, sorry. A bunch of nerds. Specify. Yeah, it's a bunch of nerds and a bunch of dads. They're there to just listen and enjoy the music. And they're using their little spectacles to like look at the guitar player's hands to be like, Oh cool. I didn't know you threaded that there. Yeah. That's really interesting to see your right hand technique. Yeah, I really like well, I mean, then again, that's the big thing is that, like, with the Pineapple Thief, like, their guitar work is not, it's not incredible. And I don't say that to talk shit, but I feel like Bruce Seward, a much like Steven Wilson in that way, is a is a writer first, not a guitarist. Well, I think their emphasis is on the right things. Like, their, their yeah, emphasis exactly. is on, like, the, the production and the tone and the engineering. Right. and not on, like, being like, dude, check out this big noodly fucking... Look at me fucking wank on my guitar. Look yeah. at me fucking create this fucking. But they can uh, still fuck around with some, some complexity and really like hold their own. Yeah. So that's true. Yeah. Yeah, they're awesome. They're cool. And also, who's awesome and great is this band, and also the next band, which we're gonna hear in about five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> That was, nice transition. that was the clumsiest transition <laughs> I could possibly have done. Yeah, true. But here it is. But here is the next pick in now. Ah! Ah! <laughs> All right, this is our next pick. Um, Repli- Repli-sire? Repli-sire? I don't fucking know. Um, this is a song done by a band. Um, the song is called Mask of Weary Eyes uh, The album The Human Burden The Human Bird I feel like this podcast has become that <laughs> The Human, the human Bird? <laughs> That's a, the Human Burden It's a much better album The man, Human in my opinion. Bird <laughs> That reminds me of that fucking T. Giles song What was it called? Uh, Mr. Bird Yeah, it's a good scream What? Holy crap. Yeah, dude. I make good picks. What can I fucking say? My lists are awesome. It's fucking nasty. Sounds like, um, Zach Heidel. Zach, Zach, uh, Zach Heidel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the fucking psychic pebbles? Yeah. <laughs> God, I wish I could still do his voice. Boom, boom. I really don't Yeah, maybe if you mixed him with like Randy Blythe <laughs> like, I'm so fucking confused by that correlation Yeah, you'll get it, they'll hit you I don't think so I really like the artwork here though like especially too because like you've got this weird like I get that it's kind of almost supposed to be like a, a skellington kind of thing scale scale shut up but yeah it's made of like like stone scales and you got all these fucking this veins and viscera in the background and then you got this dude and he's just like 
really copping a squat. <laughs> Cop He's really squat. getting them fucking hammies worked. I think that's something that anyone's ever said before. Copping a squat? Copping a squat. What are you talking That's a very common phrase. They're popping a squat. It's just like fucking never ride a, ho- a pony without a brown saddle. <laughs> never ride a pony a white pony, a white pony. Fuck me, dude. I can't remember anything. You know what I mean? A white yeah, horse. That's what I said. Never ride a white horse without a brown saddle. Something about uh, something about um, uh, when Moby Dick was a minnow. That's what my dad used yeah, to say. Yeah, that's what your dad used to say. <laughs> Man, my dad had a bunch of fucking idioms like that. Um, he used to say that his parents, like, his parents used to, like, say shit to, like, intimidate him a lot as a kid. So his mom used to, my grandma, she's passed now. She used to say, like... Like, boy, I'm going to beat you so hard when you wake up, blue jeans will be out of style. (laughs) Um, And uh, another good one was, uh, she said, or sorry, he said, my dad used to say, his dad, my grandfather, who was also passed, used to always say, like, son, you must have a lot of brains in that head of yours because you haven't used an ounce of them yet. But my mom was telling me the other day, she said that, uh, I guess his mom used to say, like, uh, <laughs> yeah, you might you might not be very smart, but I can't come up with anything you can't fix. No way. <clears throat> he used to say to me, like, um, when he, would, he would always refer to, like, a good deal. You could tell my dad found a, a really screaming deal because he would end it with, like, <coughs> yeah, it's like a sore dick. You can't beat it. Yeah. Yeah. I like Jesus. My dad started saying that I think when I was like nine, by the way. Just in case anybody's like, why does this fucking why does this Devon character have such a uh, a really uh um fucked sense of humor, maybe? Like I got it pretty early. <laughs> yeah. He's chunky. Now you say something. <laughs> now I say something. Um, yeah, I definitely don't have any idioms. I don't have a cache of, like, things that I say, other than, you know, certain. You do. Your things are just really simple. Uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, yeah, they're more like inflections of. and affectations yeah, and whatnot. Oh, shit. Is it raining? Sick. Hell yeah, dude. Well, I will climb away from the mine. Oh, that's good. Like Fucking use the rain to wash away all that goddamn white powder. Fucking sick of the snow. I hate snow. Yeah. It's been snowing a lot. I fucking hate it. I hate snow. I hate cold. I hate. I guess I just kind of hate everything, really. I don't like when it's too hot. I don't like when it's too cold. I just want everything to be perfect for me. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and I am white, just in case anybody was wondering. <laughs> Yes. So that I can hear Zach Cato on the ice cream. Yeah. This band is from Boston, Mass. We were talking about that in our last pick and how um, um oh Lord, who was his name? The um the guy. You know the one? The one we were, we were talking Lee. about? What? Sanjay Lee. Yeah. He was from Boston, Mass. Originally, and then moved to Seoul, uh, where he decided to make jazz. I'm sure he made jazz before that too, but you know, yeah. it's only legal in Seoul, so <laughs> they can't make jazz anywhere else. Yes, that's why Kim Oki did it too. And Kim Oki is Oki by me. So I'm trying to like scope out the um, bio section, but. Course. Would you like me to expand it for you? That'd be nice. Well, and then a lot of bands like to do this thing where they it's like let's let me try this. Let's make the font just well, a darker <laughs> version of the background. There we go. Rough. Um, yeah, I can't read that. I just can't. Uh, Repless Sire is the brainchild of guitarist Eric. Where are Alper. Uh, who founded the band in 2010. Man, that was a while ago. <clears throat> the American tech metal prodigies hailing from Boston, Massachusetts, self-released their debut full-length, The Human Burden, in 2012. The album's unique and wide-ranging material was 
an ambitious statement of intent that quickly established the New Englanders as must follow heavy as a must follow heavy act in their corner of the US. That is one thing like I really don't want to talk shit in any way and I really enjoy this music, but it does really bother me when I see people like refer to themselves as like genius or like prodigies or virtuosos or things like that like I get you know that you gotta like hype yourself up and that's cool but you know there's um I don't know that, that might be just me but I will say I, 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 I to a degree I get that like dude, like you know I guess on, on one end of the spectrum you have artists who like are very um, very timid and insecure and they'll say like um, you know like Red Llama is um, a sort of kind of artist yeah. you know um, and I'm not saying yeah I'm not saying what I was saying to be like man fuck these guys for talking highly of themselves that's not what I'm saying I get but that like, there's like definitely people that take it, it to an extreme a lot of sense to, like, to to like of course refer to yourself in the third person and then also yeah. refer to yourself as like legendary <laughs> I, I, I get that i get the, you know to a degree it's i guess it's better than just like we're five dudes from boston mass Check but i out. i will say for what it is worth there is a pick that did not make this list and i will not say who they are but I will say that they are actually pretty close to home, which would have been really cool to represent. Um, but I will say they did not make this list largely because their bio pissed me off. Like reading a lot of the things that they're like, this is what we have to say about ourselves. I was just like, man, go fuck yourself. And I did not include it because it was too fucking irritating. Yeah. Their music was decent, but I just really didn't like their vibe. Yeah. And uh, I'm not really ashamed to say that, but like, it does, yeah, it is It is something when I think like the energy you put on, and again, I'm not saying that about this band, but just in general, it was more of like a segue talking point. But yeah, when like the energy you put off is like, oh man, look at me, I'm a giant asshole who thinks I'm fucking awesome and I make the best music there is. It's like, yeah, fuck you. Yeah. Like, no interest in that. And of course, I could mention who the band is because after all of that, I'm like, I have no interest in representing this band, but I'm not going to. Uh, um, yeah, I feel like there's just such a different like culture as far as like um like self promotion goes in like so you know you, you have like the metal scene metal culture and then you have like you know any other culture i feel like metal tends to have like a strong emphasis on like make your sound make yourself sound as fucking badass as you can yeah there's a lot of things with, if i'm being honest there's a lot of things with metal culture in general and like the greater metal scene. other than like rap i guess yeah. i guess rap is that's really true. the one that's like i am the best i'm i'm a, a god king yeah <laughs> ain't nobody fucking of my me. town yeah. like okay yeah but there's a lot of things with metal culture and like the metal scene that i am so fucking glad that i have like become detached from so i don't i don't pay attention to like the local metal scene hardly at all anymore and i know i know local metal artists I know a lot of metal artists who are great, but I can't. Yeah, that's badass. I can't pay attention to the scene as a whole anymore. It just fucking drives me insane. And then of course there's this this whole like mentality of like, yeah, dude, if you don't follow my band, if you don't like all of my posts, if you don't buy all of my shirts, if you don't go to all of my shows, and like you're not like you're not even really my fucking friend. It's like. Dude, I wouldn't do that for myself. Like, if I didn't have to be there, I probably wouldn't be there more often than not. So, like, you need to chill the fuck out. I just, I'm so fucking done to death with that, like, all or nothing mentality that comes so much yeah. from that scene. Yep. The scene could use some work, but I guess uh, that, that's, that sounds very, like, uh, that sounds very self-aggrandizing like uh, like 
I think it's just really down to just anyone's individual personality, I guess. I mean, and again, it's there's no problem with like self promotion at all. Like, no, I think that's a skill we could all be better at. But yeah, like certainly some people have the personality where they just like push it too far. All right, hang on. I'm gonna try it right now. Let's let's try it. Let's try it really, really uh, earnestly. I'm gonna try and speak from the heart here. All right, fucking listen up, everybody. This is the best goddamn podcast on the planet. The two people making it, Danny and Evan, they're fucking geniuses. Um, Both fucking Ivy League grads. uh, Smartest people. Biggest fucking hangers. Like, there is no reason that you should not be listening to everything they ever do. How's that? Yeah, listen, listen. I am one of the most humble modest people I've known in my life and even I will say that this is the best podcast that exists right or now. ever will or ever will ever will there will never be better um, the people that make it they are literally God's gift they're his best gift um, like there is water sliced bread and then there's us like don't get me wrong I am the most humble and the most fallible and most handsome but even I will admit that I never make a mistake. <laughs> what? I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. And I'm the best. <laughs> and I'm the best. Yeah. And I got a super cute smile. Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like that's that real, like, metal brag energy. You know what I mean? Hashtag MBE. Is that going to pop up on the screen? Metal, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I feel like we could make a t shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Metal brag energy. Come to all our shows and buy our t-shirts, or else you're not a true fan. We actually sold a Natural Cut Records t-shirt the other day. Really? I have no idea who bought it, but someone did. Look, well, I just get a notification. PayPal's like, hey, do you know that you have money? And I was like, no. Like, oh yeah, somebody bought one of your shirts. That's all right. Mean. You can see some fucking old lady walking around with like a Natural Cut Records shirt. That'd be cool. <laughs> Like well, see, that's the thing is I have no idea who the fuck would have bought one. The only people who really give a shit are you and me and the people signed. Mm-hmm. And I would think, unless somebody just saw the logo, I was like, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Me. We do have shirts though, if you want to like support. So there's that. Maybe we'll have actual show shirts one day. That'd be cool. Oh, uh, what do you think, Evan? You ready to move on? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. Are you sure? Yeah. I like that. They're cool. Re- Repl- Sire, yeah. I think. I back in a second, people. It. Bye. Okay, everybody. We're back with uh, Noise Trail Immersion. This band is fucking sick. Not that all the other ones aren't, but this one, man, I gravitated towards heavily. They're Eight from Italy. String blackened math core. Yeah, dude. We'll come back to that. Uh, mm. The album Symbology of Shelter. We're going to start with the first track, Mirroring. If you would, yeah, they're just. Oh shit! Yeah, their description says eight-string black and mathcore band based in Turin, Italy, born in 2013, still making noises. Yeah, it's definitely like my favorite so far. I like the sound a lot. Isn't it badass? It reminds me a little bit of that one band we reviewed, and I mean, but when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit of. Um, oh. Oh boy, this is gonna drive me nuts. I remember their album name. I'm struggling to remember the band name. The album name was uh, Cave Paintings. We reviewed them in the Grindcore episode. Shit, if I remember, a terrible name. I have their album. I just can't think of what it's called or who they're who they're called. Anyways, yeah, really badass production on this is fucking awesome. Just, yeah, it's man. frenetic. It reminds nice me of like dissonant. early yeah, early Dylan Drew, really. Plus, I mean, like, look at this fucking artwork. It's so badass. Interesting. Yeah, it's wicked. I just realized the album name is upside down, but I'm still in it. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, that's like an unintentional mistake that they made. No, I, yeah, I, I don't even know if it was that, but it kind of almost reminds me of like a, like a playing card. You know what I mean? Yeah. I do like the, yeah, like worn kind of look on the edges. Yeah, and stuff. Like it's like a vinyl. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I definitely. Uh, I think I think out of this whole list, I-, I think this is definitely like my, by a long shot, my my favorite kind of sound. Yeah. Which yeah, I mean, I of course, yeah, I, de- I definitely wouldn't like to suggest that uh, that 
I guess the other bands just like aren't necessarily my cup of tea anymore. They're nostalgic for me. But uh, like this is something that I think I would still like listen to for yeah. enjoyment. Well, I mean, I would I would definitely with the not that I listen to music too, for but... enjoyment anymore. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, fucking hey, with how much we do this show now, like it's a career. <laughs> what time do you really have to listen to music leisurely anymore? Every time I turn on like the radio and I hear a song come on, I'm like. Am I going to review this for the podcast? Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. not worth yeah. listening to. Um, well, you did say that your favorite song was Closer by the Chainsmokers featuring Halsey. Well, yeah. That is definitely the best song. Yeah. I mean, just that, what is it? Um, yeah, it's like... Yeah. Dog... Shit. But it's catchy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah, I don't know. Can't if, stand um... any fucking melody that's comprised of three notes. <laughs> yeah, we literally just learned how to make chords. Check this out. Oh, human music. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's exactly <laughs> like that. <laughs> like, yeah, we just found out that if you if you take a, a root, uh, a major third and a fifth. You have a major chord. Isn't that crazy? Anyways, check out my latest song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. How much uh, support do these fellows have? Um, a lot, but it's not an insane amount. Well, hold on. There you go. Oh. It'd be funny if it, like, grew overnight and it's just, like, yeah. fucking endless. <laughs> Uh, really? Let's see. So I think it's 10 per row. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 120? 120. I like that you got a Knuckles picture. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Necro Pig. What a cool to, name. Shout out to Necro Pig. I was going to mention that. That was like the other like. Do you meme. remember this thing? You mentioned dead memes earlier. and, and I remembered. Uh... What the fuck is that? I have no idea what that Didn't is. Didn't you see that fucking... It was like a big thing on YouTube years ago. I don't know if it was really a meme, but... Anyways, what are you talking about dead memes? Oh, well, the, yeah, You're about the, to be a dead the Gondon meme. Knuckles joint. Yeah. That's coming back, though. Is it? Yeah, it is. It's resurfacing. Uh, well, that was the big thing. It's like... Um, because you can't keep I think, it dead I think for they, that long. Yeah, yeah, I think they, like, they hybridized it with the Mandalorian, and they called it like the Ugandalorian. But then again, like, I don't think hardly anybody gives a shit about the Mandalorian anymore. Yeah, even. I feel like so the Mandalorian, like, like the Mandal, well, specifically Mandalorian memes, are so fucking lame. The, I mean, the Baby Yoda memes are still really prevalent, but like, short of that. But but I think I think those are just like so fucking uncreative. Not that like oh, yeah. any given meme is necessarily creative, but Pretty but. Sure. Uh, um, a lot of them are definitely like copy paste, but I feel like the Baby Yoda shit was definitely like, like the epitome of just like copy paste. Oh yeah. Like oh here's the here's him changing the music in the in the ship, yeah. and it's just here's a different song. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay, great. He's yep. listening yep. to Smash Mouth. We fucking get it. Oh, he's listening yeah. to Down with the Sickness. We get it. Oh look, he put on fucking uh, Mia Khalifa porn video. I get it. <laughs> it's a bunch of just shit like that. But, you know, it is what it is. Meme culture is what it is in general, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm. So I can get down on a fucking show. Like this. What? I can just get down. Straight if I can get in. This, this bullshit. Is that a show? Just throw my fucking fists around? Oh, yeah. Me? I'm glad they go fucking see this if they were touring. If they were touring in Seattle. But I don't think they is. Doesn't seem like it. But, I mean, you know, if that changes... Hit me up, I'll go. I'll go down to L4. I'll get a black eye. I don't mind. <laughs> yeah. Fascinating. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Have you pet any good dogs recently, Evan? I mean, I, I, mean, I pet my dog, but he's definitely not a good dog. You do drive for Amazon for a living. What the fuck? Oh no, I am my brother. Yeah. God damn. Twin jokes a lot. I am my Get brother's brother. You're what? I am my brother's brother. That's true. 
That's my adage. See, I said I didn't have fucking idioms earlier, but I guess I do. Got something. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> That'd be interesting to see, like, Colin have his take on uh, sitting here in the... In we could the... just do that one day. Like, be like, listen to enough of these podcasts, and let's see if you can just literally take Evan's place for an entire episode and see if people will notice. Because you guys, I mean, you guys aren't identical twins. You look fairly similar, but, like, anyone could easily tell you two apart. Mm -hmm. Which is funny, because that would have been a different statement in, like, middle school. But now, now, yeah, for sure. Yep. Also, don't you have, like, you have, like, birthmarks that he doesn't have? Yes. You have a tattoo. He doesn't have a tattoo. Mm -hmm. He has have very different haircuts. <coughs> he was pretty tan for a while. Yes. There's a weight difference. Um, which I'm not saying that in any way, really. Just like, there's there's a way you can very easily tell you two apart. That's all I'm saying. He got out of the core. Got a little chubby. You know. Yeah, he was a Marine for a minute. Yeah. How long was he? he was well, he still Marines is a Marine. He'll, he'll, I he'll said, fucking... how long was he in the Marines? Wait, we, well, you said he hasn't been a Marine for a moment. I said he hasn't been in the Marines. Uh, yeah, fucking dickheads. Um. Anyhow, what's up? What's he was, up? Well, I was asking how long he was in the Marine Corps. It's yeah, like four years. How long? Four years. At all? That's it. I think Destry is still in the Marines. He lives in fucking Japan now. He's not blow your mind. Like on a, on a base? I don't think so. Yeah, him and uh, him and Elizabeth went to Japan years ago. Good for them. Yeah, dude. Nice. I think he's like the only like friend out of that friend group that like I don't get to keep close tabs on, but I actually do still give a shit about. I mean, because, like, there's definitely a lot of people that, like, I used to talk to, I used to hang out with, where I'm like, yeah, like, more or less, fuck those people now. And then everyone else is like, yeah, I'm pretty close to them still. Yeah. Yeah, not Destry. I haven't heard from him in a long-ass time. Interesting. Well, he's pretty tall, so... It's true. He's almost as tall as I am. Very so close. all those little tiny showers over there, you know. True. I'm just thinking of that scene from Lost in Translation where he's, Bill Murray's like trying to take a shower. Yeah, this is so badass. <laughs> yeah, you do love Lost in Translation. Yeah. It's amazing. We haven't talked about it for a few. Yeah, I know. And any fucking excuse I can find to talk about it. True. True. Oh. Yeah, I gotta tell you, as much as I really enjoy this band, and as much as uh, we haven't been listening to it for that long, uh, folks and fam, I am uh, I am really starting to fade, so we'll probably need to start wrapping up on this dang Deadly song. I'm gonna listen to this more a lot later. I'm probably gonna buy this. This is fucking badass. And uh, you should too. It's only seven euros, so you know, not bad. Not bad, not bad. It's not bad, you guys. You guys, I mean, if you've got the money to spare, and that's really only, I think, like $8.67 USD. I don't fucking know. But it's not a lot. And yes. you can fucking get down, like Evan said. Yes. What say you, Evan? I say goodbye, good night. You want to give some of the adages that I usually give? See, see how well you fucking. Since you like to criticize me, um, come up with some. It's on the spot, fucking dance, monkey. Well, I would say definitely uh, like clean out your closet next time you get a chance because that shit just like gets messy and dirty. That's a good one. You don't like need it. all that extra fucking clutter sitting around and stuff. Yeah, no, that was so all that one. shit you're hanging on to from like when you were like you know in your. Like when you were a teenager, just like let go of that shit. Yeah. Stop holding on to it. All right, well that's one, but you know, rule of threes, baby, keep rule them coming. Threes. Um, definitely like play Dark Souls when you get a chance. <laughs> that was weak, but I'll take it. <laughs> um, 
and then um, just uh, yeah, just you know, just forget about it. Just forget about the third one because I dream, didn't come up with one. A big dream you had, just forget about it. It's not gonna fucking happen. If you meet the devil in person, it's probably a dream. Uh, if you encounter a banana fish, don't let it eat your toes. Um, yeah, that's and when in Rome, uh, I think their pizza is probably comparable to that of the rest of Italy, so probably get you a slice. Yeah. And don't ride a white horse without a brown saddle. Good night, everybody.